This video was made possible by you. If you want to save time and support what I do, check the link in the description that will take you to my store where you can purchase the source file for what we're creating in this video, as well as other tutorials on my channel. Thank you for your support and let's get back to the video. Welcome back to designing a website in Figma. In this video, we're going to take a look at the brand assets page. And specifically, we're going to think about the structure of this page, what's actually going to be on this page. And we're going to come up with a wireframe that we're then going to use as an inspiration for finalizing this page. And as mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can purchase the source file where you're going to get all of this, including what we are creating today. So a brand assets page is a page where a company usually has like a basic overview of their brand, meaning a logo, maybe some kind of like a photos that people can use when they want to, for example, write an article about the company, right? So let's say that some kind of a news outlet wants to write an article on our fictional about our fictional company. They would come to this page and download, for example, the logo they will take a look at the brand colors and so on and so forth. So there's going to be multiple types of content arranged on this page, probably split into sections. And I was thinking that we could get, if I were to create like a placeholder, like wireframe frame, essentially, let me just copy the layout. Let me copy the layout from here, the 12 columns. Let's go here. Let's call this brand assets wireframe. And what I'm thinking could be here is like a navigation on the left side, right? So this could be like, let's say, this could be a logo, brand colors, photos, and so on. So that would be on the left side. Let me use the H3 text style. So let me actually just replace these rectangles with actual text. So I think we could get like section one, Section one, section two, then let's say three and four. Okay. I'm not sure what these sections are going to be yet, but we would definitely get something like that on the left side and on the right side, we would actually get the content, right? So every time we would click on these, we're going to, we would be able to scroll to that specific section, you know what I have in mind. So this would serve as a scrollable kind of anchor links, essentially. Yeah, let me just duplicate this. So that would be my, that's what I think should be there. Then of course, we could have a main headline that would say brand assets, that's going to be H1. And then something about this section. Okay. Maybe we could also get an image on the right side, similar in structure to what we have here, maybe. So we could do like a rectangle for now as a placeholder, right? It's going to be an image. We could get some kind of a secondary call to action. By the way, I'm using assets that we have created during this series. This could be important, no background. This could say something like, find out more or something. I don't know. But what I'm thinking is that we could, I think it would make the most sense if we had maybe like a line, perhaps. Let me actually turn off the guide so you can see better. Maybe we, you would get like this. This would split the content and the navigation. And I am thinking that this could actually be sticky, right? So this whole thing, could actually be, I think just it could stop at the top edge, right? So as you would scroll, this would scroll with you until it reached this point and then it stayed in frame always, right? I'm not sure we have it anywhere in this whole design, but it's very simply, this is what I would do. And then it's going to get quite complex. We could have something like a logo, right? So I think there's definitely going to be a mix of images and text. Maybe you're going to get, let me just grab some sample text from somewhere. Okay. This, I think we could do like a description, two paragraphs maybe. And then, then what I'm thinking is that in each section, we could get like a something like a call to action, actually, that would say something like, 
download, I could say something like download section one assets. In practice, this would say like download logo assets or something, but let's keep logo assets here. Maybe we could add something like an optionality switcher that could be based on this component. And by the way, notice how fast I am with, with building this because I have all these elements already in place. So definitely that's a huge advantage of having a design system in place. So there could be like JPEG, SVG, PNG, and then it could say like all formats, all formats, and you would be essentially able to, to choose a format, right? You would choose a format and then there would be a big, huge download button, right? That would say download, okay? Something like that. I think that could be, I think this could be that. It's just very rough because we are basically making sketches. But yeah, I think, I think something like this would make the most sense to me for brand assets. Then we would get section two. Maybe there would be something similar. I don't know. But I think overall, this structure could be shared across these sections. Because every time we're here to essentially download something, and therefore we need some kind of a, like a summary. So yeah, I think especially this call to action section could be in every, in every section. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I think this is going to be... I think we're going to be able to do some nice interactions with this navigation over here. It's going to be very exciting. And then I think at the end, we're going to get section three and four and so on. Section three, section four, of course. And at the end, we're going to get, of course, a footer. We're going to get a footer as with any page. Maybe now that I'm thinking about this, one of those sections could be like colors right, colors, and we could get like a card. So let me borrow one of those feature cards. I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna borrow this. We're of course gonna be changing these, right? Building a new component for this. But let's say this is gonna be dark gray, right? And there's gonna be a code here. And this could say copy hex code or something with an icon, right? So. We could also get something like this, right? Brand colors are an essential part of a of any identity. If we get a logo, we're definitely gonna get brand colors as well, right? And now again, since I have these cards, this is gonna be a very good starting point for whichever card we build for this purpose. Maybe one of those, one of the sections could be like a legal disclaimer or something where we basically tell the users that they should not modify our logo, for example, and all that boring legal stuff. That is important nevertheless. So yeah, this is the structure that I have in mind. Let me know if that makes sense. And in the upcoming episodes, we're gonna take care of this page. It's not as simple as I had previously thought, but I believe that we're gonna have some fun defining these interactions and all these nice, useful components. Right, thanks again for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Again, if you want to download the source file for all of this, check the link in the description. The web series source file is now for sale. Go also check out the other episode of this series if you want to find out how we built all of this. It's all out there and fully documented. So definitely there is a video for every single thing that is in this design system file. All right. Thank you guys. If you found this useful, I would appreciate leaving a like. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.